Ooh. This one has some promise. I don't know. They all I, have I, promise, I, based on that, ooh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> 8.52 on Memphis Morning News. Alan, the food dude, joins us every Thursday. Today, no exception. I think you've only missed one delivery day, and that was because of car trouble, wasn't it, Alan? Well, yeah, that whole, you know, walking on foot thing kind of yeah. delays yeah. getting food yeah. anywhere on yeah. a timely so, basis. <laughs> but we always appreciate you feeding us and letting us share it with our audience. Uh, let's go. Let's eat it. All right. So are we hot or are we cold? It's hot. Or it's warm, anyway. It's warm. All right, ditch. We are finally going to meet the true ditch need. Give the people what they want. Oh, yeah, baby. I see bacon in there. I see some pasta, cheese mix. You see cheese. Something a little crusty. Welcome to pasta and cheese, the grown-up version. Oh, yeah. It smells good, too. Is this like a macaroni and cheese? Well, this is a salatini. This is a pasta and cheese. Okay. So we went with the, the extra curled. And you are diving into a creamed mozzarella sauce. Ooh, this yeah. Is, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. I figure I had to just totally give Ditch what he wanted at least once. once. Is there a second crunch in here in there addition is. to the bacon? There is. You have a light sprinkle of one of my favorite secret ingredients, crushed up Ritz crackers. Oh, nice. They are just you know, lightly salty, lightly buttery. And nobody really recognizes them right off the bat because they don't see the Ritz crackers sitting there. And you just get to sneak a little crunch in there. And as you can tell by the stunned silence that this uh, must meet everybody's approval. Well, nope. the consultants say that silence on the radio is really... Not a good a thing. Good, well, it's, it's, a great, it's a good... Oh, it's good? It's good for a second or yeah, two. It, right? gets, you know, it catches yeah. our attention. Silence it does. catches the audience's attention. Yep, yep. But the sounds of people yeah. eating, I'm not sure about that. I'll just say, what is the spice you have on here? Is that a... Uh, uh, you just have a little dash of paprika, paprika with a little, with a tiny little sprinkle of just some black pepper. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just to give it a little, just to give it a little lift above just good. being cheese, 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 and cheese. And you know, I love the cheese. And well... I think you've just got just enough on here to make it so that it, it doesn't take over the bacon taste um, and the, the spice taste. Good job, Alan. Nice little layers. Is this peppered bacon? What? Is it peppered bacon? Uh, no, no, no. But uh, it's just, it was a good old, just one of those hickory smoke hmm. little bacon things. I cooked that up last night, diced it up real good. And this morning I'm sitting there slinging cheese and milk and getting everything together. Now, the other little secret ingredient in here is you also have just a little dash of Italian seasoning. Okay. Oh, okay. That went in with the mozzarella. So... You know, basically, you have a lot of, and again, I'm a huge fan of flavor intensity, not overwhelming. Yeah. I like, you know, if you're going to do something in the layer, you know, especially if you're going to do bacon, you know, you need to know the bacon's there. Sure. If you're going to do pasta, you need to know the pasta's there. You don't need to overwhelm any one particular thing. So it gives you a nice, nice oh, smooth layer, good. and yeah. a, a cheese that gets really overlooked. Is mozzarella. Yeah. Because everybody goes, oh, you just put that on pizza. But it makes a fantastic cream sauce. You know, a 12 ounce bag of shredded mozzarella and a cup of milk, and you have an amazing white cream sauce. What do you like about mozzarella? I mean, we all know it goes on pizza, but I don't really know anything else about it. I mean, what's 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 its what's its value in the cheese spectrum? Well, mozzarella is um it's, it's kind of like cream cheese. It is one of the easiest cheeses out there to make. You can even make mozzarella at home, just, just to be perfectly honest with you. Huh. Uh, you got the right kind of milk. You got a way to express the, the way out of it. You can make mozzarella at home. The biggest thing is it's a softer and it's a really stringy cheese. Mm. It gives you that what we expect out of like a pizza or a matzo, you know, those, icon- uh, a those iconic images that we see in commercials. Yes, it has that beautiful drape to yeah. it as you pull it across. <laughs> but it, it is so uh, eloquently put. It so is. It's a beautiful <laughs> drape. Well, but you don't. Well, if you you've seen it where if somebody puts a different kind of cheese, it, it kind of snaps like mm-hmm. little rubber bands. Yeah. Like, but mozzarella is that one that will drape down and and have that perfect well, commercial look. It's like the kids who get the the mozzarella string cheese strips. You send them one into the in their lunch at school. Oh and they yeah. Can peel it back and munch on it. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those, just num, 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 num kind of thing. But, you know, here, 
and people forget, you know, you can make a wonderful chip dip out of this. It just depends on whatever else you want to add to it. It's an easy cheese to work with. It really is. It's a simple cheese. It's It melts at a low temp. It hangs together. You add a little milk, becomes a nice cream sauce. You have a lot of fun. Because picture now, this is a great way, and I'm going to throw a little dark secret in here. If you're trying to get somebody to eat certain types of veggies, sometimes you need the right sauce, and the veggie becomes the excuse to eat the sauce. Ah. Uh. So if you're trying to slip a little broccoli in or maybe some carrot sticks oh, or stuff one, like yeah. that, yeah. you know, well, if it comes with this amazing sauce on it, well, now it's not so much about eating the broccoli as it is broccoli will hold a lot of sauce. Oh, uh, it's great. Rick's Powder Coating text line 253. Okay, dear Lord, how do I get this recipe? I'm in the car mouth-watering right now. <laughs> I will post this up at thecookingtodayshow.com later today. And we'll post up as well at Newstalk989.com, Memphis Morning News. Alan, the food dude, you hit a home run today. Man. I've got nothing but good things to say today. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>